Hey planner friends, it's Mia. Welcome to Life with Mia. Today we are unboxing the June cloth and paper subscription box. I have two boxes. I believe one is half letter. The other is pocket. Um, the pocket box I subscribed for three months. I wanted two of the June box and so I just went ahead and did a three month subscription. So I don't know if they keep dropping these amazing things. I'll leave it alone. But I think after August, I may go back to one box. My normal box um, also includes the pin subscription. So I'll be doing a pin test as well. I'm going to go ahead and um, pull things out of the box. And... So these are my pocket items. And if you hear things exploding in the background, that's just my neighbors. They didn't get the memo that 4th of July is one day, not every day this week. Where you live are fireworks legal for people to have and do at their home. They are legal here if you have specific ones, um, which I'm pretty sure a lot of what they, they have is not considered legal, but here we are. Anyway, all right, so let's go through this box. I've got our little menu card here. And I am going to try to just go down the list. So the first thing is there's a couple of dashboards. There is the... Those are not dashboards. Let's try in here. Okay, so there's the motif dashboard. It's the perfect way to elevate any planner featuring a French-inspired layout. This dashboard invokes style and tranquility in planning your routine, turning the page will have you feeling, say, sentir calme et alas, um, which I think it's very pretty. I love anything that's got, like, water or ocean. It says the natural world is built upon common motifs and patterns, recognizing patterns in nature, creates a map for locating yourself in change and anticipating what is yet to come. And you've got the motif on the back. It's really pretty. I love this. Okay, so that's the motif dashboard. Then there is the um, Pomodoro dashboard and tracker board. So that is this one, which this box theme is centered around the Pomodoro technique. Um, so you choose a task. You work for 25 minutes, you take a five minute break, you repeat that four times, you take a 25 minute break, complete the task. So it's just like the circle. Um, the Pomodoro technique is a great method to keep your mind fresh and prevent burnout. Our new Pomodoro tracker board is dry erase compatible and sized to perfectly fit in your planner. It features a task list with the time intervals to keep you on track. Additionally, the Pomodoro dashboard looks fantastic, aesthetically guiding you through your focused experience. And um, I love that it's dry erase. It does not look like it. It looks like it's paper or cardstock. And it feels like it's paper or cardstock. Um... Maybe, I guess, if you're putting a clear on top of it. I'm not feeling like this you can write on here. I'm not sure what dry erase compatible means. But in any case, um, the only way I can see it working is if you put a clear um, dry erase on top. Okay, so then we have inserts. So you have the weekly schedule insert. 
um, that can be used alongside the Pomodoro technique, a combination to help you stay productive and on task. Plus, find our refreshed vertical weekly inserts for July and August, updating the way you plan as we move into the middle of the year. We'll continue to include one monthly set of vertical weeklies. Sunday start inserts in our upcoming boxes. Ooh. Okay, so let me think about this because... Okay, let's do this first. Undated weekly. Uh, I'm about to... I was about to get real sidetracked there for a second. Um... Weekly schedule inserts. So these are undated. And graph graph paper. There's this is different. Got your times at the bottom. Kind of like this. I want to try these out. Okay, so Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday on the left. Thursday through Sunday on the right. For the people who love Saturday and Sunday together, I'm sure that this is perfection. You've got a little space over here to maybe make a list. Um, and then you have graph paper again and another week. So it looks like in between every week is some graph paper, so that's nice. Um, I would say there's probably, I'm not going to count them, but maybe 15, 16 weeks there. So then, so you get your your undated weekly insert, but then it says, try a refreshed vertical weekly inserts for July and August updating. Well, maybe this is what I'm thinking. This box has me confused. Okay, so I was thinking something else was coming for July or August, but that was dated, but I think it's just a suggestion to try this for July and August. We'll continue to send one monthly set of vertical weekly Sunday start inserts in our upcoming boxes, which I would think is different because this is not a Sunday start. This is a Monday start. Hold, oh, please. Okay, here we go. Y'all, I think I'm just tired. <laughs> I'm just... <laughs> I'm confusing myself. Okay, so here is the 2022 Vertical Weekly Sunday Start for July. There's the cover. Lined note paper. A place for you to put your goals. A checklist. Intentions. Some bills due. You have your month at a glance. So you have Sunday start on this. And Saturday hanging out over there by itself. Which I think at this point I, I'm I'm flexible on the calendar. It doesn't bother me either way. Um important dates and notes. Then, now see, I think on the weekly it does bother me. I, I don't like Sunday up there by itself. I like it with Saturday. So, I, I'm not bothered by the month at a glance calendar. I think because like every calendar you get in the store has Sunday over on the left and Saturday over on the right. I'm used to it. But on the weekly, I like I do like them together. So, there's that. Um... I love the verticals. I use the verticals. Mine have Saturday, mine have Monday start. So um, Saturday and Sunday are together. So this is not tremendously different from what I already use. It's refreshed. Um, it's different in that I don't use the Sunday start. I use the Monday start. And it's different in that there's a checklist here, which does not currently exist on the 2022 version and the week that you are in is sort of highlighted by that circle around it. Um, so that's like the major differences. Um, they've added a few little holidays like the version I have now does not definitely doesn't reference International Joke Day. Um, still using sort of like a grayscale for 
holidays, which is what they do now. So it's a little bit lighter and the rest of the ink, the lines are a little bit lighter. Um, that's the major differences. And it, the month ends with a notes page. So, um, I don't know. I may try these out. We'll see. So that's the um, undated weekly. And then you've got the dated weekly for July and August. Vertical weekly dated. Okay. Next we have graph sticky notes, which I love. Um... This is a new addition to the planning and stationery box. Offers multiple functionality with a transparent view. The graph sticky notes is both simple and beautiful while adding extra depth to your planner pages. Color is Aspen, 50 sheets, three by three inches matte. Okay, highlighter stickers. And actually, no, that's not right. See, I'm confused again. Okay, I think these sticky notes were part of the um, Pinspiration. These sticky notes are transparent, 50 sheets, 3 by 5 inches. This new addition to June's planning and stationery box offers multiple functionality with a transparent view, which these are transparent. So these are sticky notes that were included which I kind of like this transparent look. Graph sticky notes are part of Pinspiration. Okay so that's that. Next we have the highlighter sticker set intentionally designed for high function and classification in your planning. The collection includes 28 unique icons and symbols perfect for reminders, notes, and ideas. So we've got some checklists there, some X's. I made some of those X's because I don't be getting stuff done. Exclamation points, happy faces, arrows. Um, looks like there's a push pin, an idea, an asterisk, a flag, some lines, brackets, and um, set of four includes 56 pill stickers and 56 rectangular stickers and two variations. what the variations are. Oh, okay. So there's the different color. I like this color. I don't know what this is. It's very warm. There you get. Two pages of each, but they're different. <clears throat> Those are nifty. Okay, so we've got those. Then we've got the... This, I think, was what they were trying to say was um, dry erase. And I just missed it because I pulled out the dashboard thinking this was... The dashboard and tracker were one thing. So this is the tracker. which is dry erase and this is the dashboard so you can on here write down what your task is and you can like put a little check mark when you're done and each little 25 minute and five minute interval when you work for 25 minutes take your five minute break work for 25 minutes take your five minute break and so on you can sort of keep track of it that way and then this would be the dry erase piece because I was like this cardboard is not looking dry erase -ish. um I was thinking you'd mark on here but then there was no way to repeat five, four times so this makes more sense sorry y'all okay um journaling cards we have love my little calendars always love to get those so there's the august calendar we have time block method and um focus blocks 
social blocks, admin blocks, recovery blocks. That's interesting. Then we have Simplicit. 3x4 quote card. The quality or condition of being easy to understand or do. Which I have not felt like it was this box for me just because I'm confused. Um, <laughs> we'll figure it out though. Um, okay, and... Then it um, included was a pin and a clock, but I'm not seeing either of them listed on here. It says to prepare you for various focus methods in this block, we've included a time timer. Um, and that's all it says about it, so, okay. So here's your time timer, 60 minute visual timer with a dry erase card. And it's in a little gray drawstring bag. Nice little user guide. which clearly I need to read before I break it. So you would um, maybe you're going to do five minutes. Close the front. Turn it on. Put some batteries in it maybe. Because um, <laughs> it's not doing anything so I'm assuming it needs batteries. Anyway, uh, and then inside of here, there is a dry erase card. Um, and I'm not sure what you would use the dry erase card for. It's a heavy card, too. Yeah, it does need a battery. Um, I guess you could write on your card what your task is. I don't know. I don't know, but that's the little clock, and I'm glad I got two of these because I can use one for work and one for, like, maybe Studio Blisco stuff, or, um, I get very, very easily distracted when I am doing tasks, so that is a perfect option for me to have a little timer to help me stay on task with just being focused on whatever I'm working on and not getting sidetracked. Um, there was a pin included, and I just, there's never any information on the pin, so I don't know what the pin is, um, other than what's here. It is, it's a Zebra G450 medium gel, and, um, you know I'm gonna do a pin test for you, so let's check it out. Do you like it? It is bolder. Just a tiny, tiny bit of smudge. And if I gave it a second, it would probably dry. Not sure what, um, it, it's just a medium, but I don't know, like, what the millimeters are. Um, it's a very heavy pen. It's got very good weight to it. And one thing I, I noticed, it's like slender, it's thinner. Nice little grip here. Um, if you give it a sec, it doesn't smear at all. Um, but the slender profile, I think, would fit into last month's Subbox Planner nicely. So this was the cover in the new book, Leather. And that fits in there really nice and looks really nice in there. So that is where my pin will be. Um, and since I got two sub boxes, I got two pins. 
um, let's real quick just look at my pocket because I'm always trying to find really good inserts for the pocket. Um, so I might test these out inside my pocket. I might put this in. I use a pocket size planner for my cash envelope, so maybe I'll try it out in there. Um, and that'll give me a chance to try those out. And then... Let's look at the weekly schedule, the undated. I feel like they always look a little bit different based on their size, so... It's kind of small. Like, you got three boxes. I'm not sure what I could write in there, but... Um, and everything else is the same, so let's move all this out of the way and look at these pins. Here is the Lux writing prompt this month. We're focusing on the Pomodoro technique to improve focus and avoid burnout. I need both of those things. What are some other techniques you use to improve your focus? I use a Kanban board. Um, I don't know that that necessarily helps me with focus, but it helps me keep track of things. And then here is our Pinspiration board. And this says Nourish. to provide with food and other substances necessary for growth, health, and condition. It's so colorful this month. Okay, so... Let's see if we can get on... and paper. And find out the names of these pins. I feel like it's hidden. Blog, blog. Um, Stationary June inspiration. Okay, so here we go. Um, so it looks like these are all M and G pins this month, which I think last month were M and G as well. Okay, so let's start with this one because it jumps out at me on the screen. So I think that this would be the lavender. 0.5 millimeter. PD says hi. M and G, meet the artist's Morlandi gel pin lavender. You'll always want to reach for this elegant pin featuring soft lavender details surrounded by a clear barrel black ink 0.5 millimeter needle point nib retractable with clip. this one. It's got a little smear to it. That, if 
to give it a second. It's good. Um, yeah, I like it. I like that one. Okay. Um, just looking at it, I didn't think I was going to like it, but I do. Um, okay, this is the... I don't know. We'll come back to it. <laughs> this is the... We can we get a process of elimination going here. Okay, so this is the Zenith. Um, pilot, piloting Mirandi Gel Pen in Stone. I love the color on this, this gray. And the look of it. It's sleek. Got a little weight to it as well. This one is 0.5 millimeters conical roller ball. And dries pretty quick. So I like this one as well. Okay, so that is the Zenith Piloting Mirandi gel pen in stone um okay so this is the m and g lab color studio retro school gel pen the um colors were Blue, brown, green, pink, red, and khaki. Rich colors with a golden clip. Make planning with a with this pen a luxurious experience. Black ink, 0.5 millimeter rollerball nib, retractable clip. Each subscri subscriber receives one of the six barrel colors. So I received pink. And again, this is the MNG Lab Color Studio. This one I don't like as much. I don't dislike it, but I kind of actually are feeling feeling like they all sort of are very similar. That is the MNG Lab gold for the accents on that. I received pink, but it was also available in blue, brown, green red and khaki all right next we have hmm i'm gonna figure out which one of these is which I think that this is the ST gel pen. Nope. Okay, so this is the ST gel pen. So the MNG ST gel pen, blue, green, pink, or purple. Um, you get one of the four barrel colors. I think this is probably considered green. It's almost like a teal color. Um, black ink 0.5 millimeter needle point nib. Retractable with clip. Oh, I had me till I started skipping. I like this one. I love it, but I do like it. Okay, so last we have the... m and Meet the... No, I already did that one. m and Morandi Color 
gel pen, red, orange, green, blue, or purple. Add a pop of pastel to your planning space with this comfortable pen. Um, 0.5 millimeter conical rollerball nib, retractable with clip, and you get one of the five colors. So again, it looks like um, this one looks more blue. I can't get the glue off. Okay. This one looks more blue. This one looks more green. So this is the, oh, I like this. Mirandi. Are there two Mirandis? No. It was the Morlandi. Morlandi and Mirandi. Okay, so this one's 0.5 millimeter. And um, conical rollerball. Black gel ink. I like this one. And it didn't smear. Um, okay, so my favorite out of all of these is probably this one. Followed by this um, pen that was included in the planner box. The uh, Zebra G450. Um, and I just really like the weight on this Zebra. Um, but I like this, this Mirandi the best. So... That is the stationery and Pinspiration box for cloth and paper for the month of June. I'm really looking forward to putting the Pomodoro technique into use and giving these new inserts a whirl. Um, I think my favorite thing this month is probably, um, randomly uh, for me, combination of things actually. I'm really excited about these sticky notes which let's look at these real quick before we go. Uh, I like the pins. Um, I like the Mirandi. I like the Zebra. So those those are my favorite pins. Favorite stationary thing. I'm going to try this Pilot Super Color on here because these are transparent. These are nice. order more of these I can already tell you I like these a lot the ink just shows up nicely on there okay must get more of these in other sizes hey Ashley can you give us these in other these transparent graph and other sizes please because these are amazing um real quick for the people in the front and the back uh, let's just try our uni pin on here as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm in love. Okay, so I was going to say my favorite thing was these undated, um, <laughs> these un this undated weekly schedule, because I think this is really nice. I don't know about it in the pocket. I like it more in the the half letter size because I don't know if that's enough room. But these transparent sticky notes are amazing. Amazing. I'm pretty happy with a lot of things in this box though. Let me know what your favorite thing is. I hope you enjoyed this video and this unboxing. And I hope I gave you all the information that you needed to um, understand what was included and make a educated decision should you choose to add any of these items to your planner repertoire. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, feel free to post those down below as well. I'll see you next time. Bye.